So for today, we're going to be looking at Severance Enclosure. This did get asked for not too long ago. And again, if you guys want to see your own exotic in the video, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely get started on it. Um, if I did make it that video already, I'll just let you know in the comments below. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people not only come to the channel, but they also do not subscribe. So if you can do me a favor, if you like the content, hit the bell notification, subscribe. It's free. And if you guys don't like me in the future, let me know and then unsubscribe. But again, I really do appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at what it actually does. Sifomatic trigger. I, I don't know how to say this. Let me know. Spheromatic trigger, maybe? Either way, powered melee final blows unleash a damaging explosion. Finishers and final blows against more powerful targets increase the radius and damage of the explosion. So this was pretty cool. Um, I usually don't use this exotic because personally, I don't really see the need for it. Don't get me wrong. It looks really cool. It's just that powered melee final blows unleash a damaging explosion just doesn't really wow me, especially since I think the only subclass you would use this on would be melee or would be solar with the throwing hammer. Um, just because you would get more explosions that way. Finishers, I guess you could use it in pretty much anything. It's just that, uh, I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the exotic. I personally don't really think it's that crazy. I definitely would want to see a rework of it. Something a little bit more useful because this doesn't feel like I, like, it doesn't feel like I would use it in anything hard mode at all. Like anything that's hard, I would not use this at all. Um, I mean, the finishers would be interesting, but like at the same time, if you're going in for finishers, you better have overshield, you better have protection because if not, you're just going to get fucking nuked. So this is definitely a trash. Like I play Vanguard like twice a week and I use this in there because it's fun type of thing, but like nothing that I would actually go in and be like, okay, this is going to be competitive. As for how it actually looks, I think it looks super cool. Uh, one of the better looking exotics, if I'm being quite honest, just because it has that bio metal look. It almost reminds me of, and it's funny I say this because it, not only do I have the example set in this video, but I've made it before in a Halloween video, video if I remember correctly. It gives me like uh xenomorph vibes from aliens that's the aliens name xenomorph and it gives me that vibe so hard that i actually have that example set in this video because again it gives that vibe so hard but as for our shaders surprisingly shaders really well which is super dope because most of the time i just there's something in, the, in an exotic that just shaders terribly but this one all of it changes really, really well. There is some secondary color in there, specifically in the front of the plate, like the middle thing. That's gonna take shaders differently. You guys can see it from all the shaders that I've been currently showing you. But to really pinpoint it, we'll look at Ancient Wisdom. Ancient Wisdom has that brown, like, like really old metal look. But the one you're going to notice it the most is going to be Cryptic Insignia because it has that blue color. So just be aware of that. Um, it's not that big a deal because I can work around it. And to be fair, honest, as long as the both plates on the sides are like the main color, then that this is really not the biggest problem for me. As for the example set, I ended up going for a tactical juggernaut look like a, like a snow winter type of thing. Uh, I don't know why kind of i guess could like the there's so many wires in the chest piece that it kind of just made me think like maybe that's like a heating source and it like that's the main heating source that he has so it kind of like goes around through his body so for this one we're using wildwood helm love this helmet we're using the dark age gauntlets because i'm going for that winter vibe and the gauntlets will give me the best way to do that the braytech snow boost with the techian's regaliate combo i love this combo just because it looks like both of them look like they go together really well. And for the shading, Arctic Dreamscape is where we're using. So I definitely like this one a lot. I would probably switch out the helmet for something else, if I'm being quite honest. Maybe the Dark Age Helm. I love that helmet. That being said, uh, the Dark Age Helm has some problems with shading. It takes like off colors and then like the off off colors, which is really weird. So that's why I didn't use it for this one. Not only that, I think Weldwood Helm is actually pretty decent with this one because it gives off that like snow juggernaut feel so i'm okay with it so let me know what you guys think about this one 
as for the second example set this is the alien one this is the xenomorph one and i really like this one and funnily enough this is the helmet that is currently being showcased for from ada and i say in that video that there's not a lot of good pieces if there's any and i still stick by that because i think the helmet is like the only decent option so for the helmet it's going to be the terra concord helm this one is such a good helmet if you want to go for an alien look because again it has that like back plate all the way at the back it looks really cool it reminds me of a xenomorph he helmet it reminds me of a xenomorph head for the for the arms nemi and gauntlets were we using for the boots forian greaves and then for the bond <coughs> And then for the mark, we're using for and mark as well. So this one wasn't too hard considering I already made this set a while ago. But again, if you want to like recreate this but not use certain pieces, the biggest thing I can really tell you is make sure you're using armor pieces that have almost like a bio metal type of look or like, yeah, like a bio bio metal type of look is the best thing I can say. So like a perfect example is the Forian set. The Forian set's really good because it looks it looks like it's just made from like biometal and i say it bio I'm, i know i'm saying biometal a lot but like when i when i mean by my biometal it's literally a like biomechanical almost as well like you want to have something that's like metal but has that like organic feel so think hive pieces as well hive pieces are going to be pretty good with this just make sure you're using a black color because uh, obviously if you're going for a xenomorph look black is going to be the best color for that so yeah this one's probably my favorite uh not saying the second one, the first one's terrible i actually like this first one as well it's just f the fact that like when it comes to like a snow tactical look i already have like one of the good best ones and, and this one is not it so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point let me know if you guys want to see any exotics like i said in the beginning but i will be showcasing a few other things i'm working on the mass effect videos right now actually by the time this video comes out the mass effect effect videos should either have been up or i'm currently working on that so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point be safe i will see you guys later